Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week uh, details, okay? So, hey everyone, my name is Neka Michelle and you all call me Lady Neka, as you know. Here we talk about fashion, lifestyle, traveling every here and then and a little bit more okay in case you haven't subscribed yet click on that subscription button so that you get all the notifications that you need anytime that i post something okay so we are talking about new york fashion week because your girl traveled to new york fashion week for the first time and she had a whole lot of experience <laughs> I had a whole lot of experience if I told you and here I'm here to tell you all about it all about the good the bad the ugly with all the shenanigans that came with it Ooh. So, <laughs> I know you want to know what happened I'll tell you for free I'll tell you for free it was never a dull moment it was a learning process for me it was a new whole world for me that i am grateful that i had to experience so i made out a list that we are going to go down down and from the outfit that i wore i will show you the outfit that i wore to each shows and the lovely people that i met network and shop that was the first show that i, I visited in soho tribeca so that's in Greenwich, part of uh, New York, and uh, it was not so much like you saw here. Is like they displayed their first uh, their collections from brands the that where you can get the f like what they haven't uh, launched already. The uh, you can get them first, the first collection, and in discount rates. So I went there. It was really cool you get inside you get drink you talk with brand owners you have the opportunity to view all the uh, clothes that they have there so i saw this gorgeous because i'm a sucker of coats okay and winter is coming so <laughs> i saw this gorgeous gorgeous coat afterwards afterwards i had to work okay me and my man we had a walk on the streets of Greenwich and there I met <laughs> Christina Aguilera <laughs> well that's a topic for another day in case you want to know more about Christina Aguilera how it all came to happen that will be on a separate video just do your subscribe so that you get the notification when i drop the gist <laughs> but just be happy for me yeah just be happy for me and uh so like you see this is the outfit that i wore on that my first day this is the outfit very elegant simple beautiful mm, like we always do it uh, and the second day i met um the one and only freelancer Holly and um, a very a very important person I started following freelancer uh, four years ago or something that was even bef before I started uh, creating contents and she has really inspired me her her courage her uh, the, the the way she carries herself the way she presents herself girl you guys will see this girl and you think oh she's <laughs> turn off the camera this lady is such is such a humble soul it's such a humble soul we had a good laughter my second fashion show that i visited was with freelancy we visited christian cohen's uh, um, fashion show he did a display of this gorgeous outfit gorgeous outfit like i, I was wild and i had the opportunity to meet him uh, and uh, that's the photo all right that's the picture of me and him and freelancy he is an incredible designer 
with humility really he was really welcome he, the show was sponsored by Cor. Cor is uh, a water um, company and it was really so it was the show was really kind of exclusive but it was beautiful experience and after in christian cohen's show i was able to meet this amazing lady amazing this amazing lady Aishang Agutu. She is all about body positivity. She is about self-confidence. And girl, did I have lots of fun with this lady. She is from Kenya. Amazing. And it just like it feels like home oh, meeting her. She is so funny. She is so adorable really i've been following her and i was so surprised to meet her there but girl was she humble she is a humble lady as you can see so and from that place from christian cohen show we were supposed to go to another show which was sponsored by mercedes we took a lift and when the lift stopped us i realized that i have replaced my bag with the core bottle <laughs> A bottle of water I replaced and in this my bag God my ID my everything was in this bag my money my bank cards and everything so we had to drive back I felt so embarrassed I said freelance please don't kill me and she was laughing she was so laughing and humble she's like oh we are driving back so we drove back and thank god i got back i retrieved my my handbag so we missed one show we dropped direct to the next show which was heard by a 15 years incredible lady called ashlyn so mental health she incorporated her creativity her arts into in telling the story of mental health incredible i was really mesmerized and the pieces were such so amazing the pieces were super amazing i'll tell you for free and um, after that i was able to meet <laughs> pretty face pretty first amazing lady Lua Bukola she is so beautiful and it felt so surreal to meet a Nigerian you know how we Nigerians we do we just jump on it and we start to talk and we as if like the, the, you feel like you've known each other for a while now okay and she was so sweet it was how the show ended and me and freelance we it was really it was raining I tell you for free it was really raining and we didn't know we were messed up but we didn't care we took a lift went to a restaurant had our food and we called and had something to drink laughed chartered and we called it a day okay next show I was invited by Yvonne Yvonne is a photographer that has really has been appreciating my art my work uh, and uh, she invited me for this show which was really incredible and the show was uh, from five different designers that that was held so in the same venue in the same show five different designers showed their pieces amazing pieces incredible and this is the outfit that I wore to this incredible show all black i needed to go all black it's detailed it's simple but it's i just love i just love how it resonates sometimes less is more so it was a timeless outfit but i love it and it came out it came true i went on a few chest going there was so good it was so good and i met some of the designers i chatted with them i took pictures and i it was raining this day so and i drove back to the hotel to change my outfit uh, for the next show and me and freelancy we we visited the evening show where three different designers presented their pieces amazing amazing so each of them speaking volume telling stories and you know i am all about telling stories through fashion and i 
think and believe that those people they told story through presented themselves through fashion, presented their, uh, their, their tradition through fashion, presented their culture through fashion. And I was truly fascinated with this. And it was such a memorable event for me. And so I ran home under the rain to change for the evening section. And this was the outfit that I wore. <laughs> I wore my statement jacket from Diesel, the shoes, ah, the shoes from Steve Martin. It was really good. And um, an amazing lady walked up to me and greeted me as if she knew me before, as, as if we've met before. And I was like, oh my God, I was embarrassed because I couldn't remember where I met her. She was so cute, so nice. And I, in my head, I'm like, hey, are you that old that you can't even remember where you've seen this lady? Don't embarrass yourself now. So somehow freelancy asked, and she told me, both of them, they told me her name is Amelia Sorila. Amelia Sorilla, she is so beautiful. I'm like, who is this lady now? Who is she? She's so beautiful. You know, she was like, hey, you're here. And I'm like, yeah, I'm here. And uh, inside me, I'm struggling, saying, telling myself, you are too old that you can't even remember where you met this lady. But finally, it turned out to me that she knows me through TikTok and has been following me. So, and she was so adorable and she was with Cynthia, both of them, they were such, they, they, they were so nice. We we're so humble. We took picture, we connected, and since then we've been talking and writing to each other. They were incredible people, incredible souls. I was so overwhelmed with the beautiful energy that I received, okay? beautiful energy that I received, sort of people that I met there. Some of them I cannot, I can't remember their names, okay? <laughs> but it was a good networking and incredible shows. And the shows were incredible, amazing. And I met the amazing Kai Dennis. <laughs> she is such a beautiful person like beautiful we created content uh, with me her and freelance we had fun create, doing some cat work and we did some uh, uh, interviews and some photo shoots and all the things that came with that it was incredible and I met ne Nehar. She she is um, the Nehar. I met her, and she was incredible as well. We exchanged contact, and this was really amazing. I loved the show, and uh, that was the last show that I visited. And I am sure for a start, this was good enough for me. This was a good enough, this was good enough for me for a start. This is just a starting, this is just the beginning and the fashion show is going to get even crazier with me. And I believe that. So you better follow me and my journey because I know we are just started. If you want to know what happened between me, the story between me and Christina Aguilera, drop your comments there and say, tell us the story. That's it for today and thank you for your time. Stay tuned while we make the experience and bring it to you fresh. Mm.